huh? New York, stand up. You should be standing up right now, like I am. You hear this beat? You know what this is, what it represents. Uh huh. You're, you're like you're like an intricate part of battle rap, and I, I see that. I'm old enough to see that, so I appreciate that. Um, with this battle now, let me just paint the picture because RBE, and when I say RBE, I'm talking about ARP. I know I'm on a personal level. I have his number. I, I speak with Lawrence. You know, all of that stuff. And that, that whole crew got nothing but respect and love for him. Um. They know how to treat battle rap media. They know how to treat the fans. They know how to treat battlers. They know how to do business well. I give them all the accolades in the world. I know they right. tried to make... You feel that way too? Or how do you feel about that? I don't know. Um, personally, I love LPP. That's my nigga, bro. Um, he can't really... I, I, I think he really came up from the, from the trenches. Mm, okay. shit up with the mud. Yep. And I um, don't... He really, he, if you really think about it, he started with no cosign. Yeah. You know what I mean? He went out and he did everything. He handled business correctly. As many times I've worked with LP, I never had to complain about the nigga not paying me on time or not paying me the money I was owed. Yep. I never had to worry about the nigga not worrying about the artist first. Right. right. You know? like LP is the nigga that made, he want he to make sure his event goes smooth. But he want to make sure that you good first. Yes. Fuck up. If you all right, we good. That's, and, I, and I like that about the nigga, man. Like, you don't get that same treatment. Not for nothing. Not, not really ragging on smack of my niggas too. But I ain't never been on a smack car that felt like... Like, I ain't feel no different from a nigga that's being in... The, from going to a smack event. Mm. You feel the only thing that's different to me is that I'm probably going over bars in my head and I got to say it now. But I I never feel like exclusivity mm. away from the fans. Like, like you know, I tour, I do music, and I done toured around the world with Mamoni Technique, Red and Meth, Cypress Hill. Like, I done toured around the world with niggas. And, and you're treated a certain way as an artist. Not saying I'm a diva nigga, because I'm a nigga that always walk around the crowds anyway and chop it up with the fan. I smoke a blunt with the fan every event. So right. it's like, that's just me. I don't even like watching battles from the stage. And like you said, you see me at all the events? Yep. How many times you see me on stage? I be in the crowd. <coughs> not not a lot. Maybe when your man's, maybe when murder is rapping. I, I, I about to say that. Only time you see me on, I'm going to tell you, the only time yep. you see Sway on the stage, my G. Yep. Is if my niggas is up there, yep. one of them battling, or if the, if the club is letting niggas smoke on, you know how they be letting certain niggas smoke on stage in the VIP but not in the crowd? Right, right. If they let you smoke on the stage and not in the crowd, then I'll go on stage because I'm going to smoke. Right. You feel me? Right. Facts. Other than that, if I can smoke in the crowd, I'm smoking in the crowd. No, no, and I, I've, like, y'all... I, I've seen you been all over. I've seen you on the sides of the other crowds. I've seen you like on one side of the room, the other side, in the back. You know what I mean? In the middle. So it's not I like if you... I don't like watching battles from that stage point of view. Right. I like watching battles from the fans point of view, the straight on visual. I don't like being behind a battler or behind one battler while the battle was going on. I don't like watching battles like that. Yeah, but people be wanting to be on TV or on the YouTube. Yeah, you know? I, I'm off that nigga. So my whole thing is when I do a snack event, I get the same amenities as I get when I'm on the car, when I'm not on the car. Mm. And I feel like that's because of me, because of who I am and what I allow me to have. I'm going to get that regardless. They don't never go all out their way to make a nigga feel that more extra because I'm on your car. Mm. Every other car that I ever been on did. KOTD gave me gift bags, hoodies. I heard about and KOTD. I, yeah. I, every KOTD event I left, like they go back and forth with each other, but I'm going to be real. Every KOTD event I was ever on, I left with a gift bag. I came back with goodies for my kid or my wife. You know what I mean? Like, right. they get souvenirs to take home with you. Mm. If you don't 
want to even give it to your family, like stickers, whatever. You know what I mean? Whatever. It could be something simple, a sticker. You all girl never did that, ever. I never got a gift bag from you all girl. I never got a, a thank you card. I got a thank you card from LTV. Uh, right? You know what I mean? Like that little <laughs> shit like that, like, what? Yeah, they know how to do business. I do shit like that. You might get a gift bag. You might get a thank you card. Or thank you email. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. This from you all girl. Them niggas pay you what they owe and... and Send you about the door. Sometimes they be having that problem paying niggas sometimes. You know what I mean? I never had that problem with them. I'm not going to say the money ever. I never had a money issue with them niggas. But I, I have known about niggas who had money issues with them. So let me ask you the, the big gorilla in the room. And I've built up ARP. We already said we love, we love how they do business. We know they tried to get Surf and Mook. Are you excited about Averb and Mook? Are you excited? Is that something you wanted to see in a um, month and a half? I'm excited. I am. I'm excited for Mook and Sire. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I, I know a lot of people kind of slack about the battle. But here's my idea about the battle, right? That's what I want to hear, man. Give it to me. Mook and Verb. A lot of people say a Verb don't deserve Mook. I honestly think the opposite. Because Verb is a nigga that been put into a lot of fucking work. Yes, he has. Verb has a resume, and he has one of the best resumes in battle rap. That's true. Very true. Verb is also the number one villain in battle rap. No. And I'm still mad at you for not killing him when you had the chance. You had a chance. You wanted him, and you should have murked him. See, that goes on. We're not even going to get into that on the show. Yeah, I'm mad about something <laughs> like that, too, but there was a lot of shit going on. I know. You like, just had a, a baby and all of that stuff going on. I know. It, it was way more than that that I, I don't like to talk about. Like, I ain't never really given nobody the full reason. Like, niggas that know me, know me, that's close to me, know what happened. But I I never put that out there. Maybe if I see you in person and talk to you on a one-on-one, all right. you promise me. I'm an I'll probably tell you what happened, but... That's fine. That's fine. Now, because if a nigga bring up that in a battle, then I'm going to kill a nigga for real. <laughs> <laughs> I respect your savviness, because here it is. I said, are you excited? You talk about Averb's resume. And when you type in Murder Mook Versus, you got like seven seven battles, and one of those is a rematch online. And I know, I know Mook had a ton of battles that was not on camera. We get it. But, I mean, he has about six. The one that has the most views, and I could be wrong, believe it or not, is him versus Sirius. Not even, not even his first battle with Lux or his second battle with Lux rivals that one. And people don't realize this. When he battled Sirius Jones, Sirius Jones was that nigga in battle rap. Like, he was all over TV. Am I right? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Like, Sirius yeah. Jones was a threat. He was he was trashing people. You gotta remember, there was a time when the nigga Jen was that nigga at Battle Yes, Rock. yes. Sirius Jones, he, Jen, he dropped a lot of jaws and raised a lot of eyebrows. Yes. A lot of niggas think that was impossible at the point, at the time. Jen was running through everybody. The thing that made Jen so unique is... He was freestyling every fucking battle. Yes. What to everybody. Yes. Build it up. I, I, I fuck. You know what? I messed the build up up. And you just corrected me. Thank you. you. You're right. You have to build Jim's up first. Jim's was a monster. He was on, um, what was that? Freestyle Fridays. He went he over. He all the weeks on Freestyle Friday. Yep. He was my club champ. Yes. Iron Solomon beat him. No, no. Matter of fact, Sirius Jones beat him. Sirius Jones beat him. And he became Fight Club Jet when he beat Jen. Yes, and Sirius Jones had a couple of performances before that where he took out a couple of dudes that was nice. And then you was like, yeah. oh shit, this dude Sirius Jones is a problem. And then, right. he, then he battled Mook 
And that was such a hard battle for me to, to judge because I had to look at it like five times. I, I didn't have a winner the first time I watched it that, that easy. I don't know about you. My first time I watched it, uh -huh. I gave it to the I keep it real. Yep. And then, and then, you know, I'm a Harlem nigga, so I sat down. I, you know, I, had, I got all the Smack DVDs. I got every last one of them. Okay. From the very first to the last one, I got them all. Wow. And uh, I remember watching that shit with a bunch of Harlem niggas that, that even know Mook or was just rooting for Mook. And watching it with a room full of Harlem niggas that make you go for Mook. Yeah. When I rewatched it, Mook had better written, and it almost seemed like if Sirius was still trying to freestyle past this battle, and, and Mook wasn't a dude you was just going to freestyle on and win. Right. You know what I mean? You had to have some written no. bars. Sirius was definitely freestyling. Yes. Freestyling in our battle. Yes. And it worked for him with a lot of dudes, but I watched it the first time. I actually gave it. Gave it to Sirius, and then when I watched it again, watched again, I was like, "Damn, I think Mook really got him." And Mook even knew what he was gonna say. He knew what Mook was gonna say, and then Mook was, <laughs> knew what he was gonna say. It was crazy. But yeah. all of that being said, like to me, Mook, every, like a lot of his battles online, he he had a better flow when he was younger. Like when he battled, um, when he battled Party Arty. Party Hardy first round was fire. Like, I think Hardy smoked Mook. Oh, you think he killed him? I think he smoked Mook. I think that's the only nigga that smoked Mook. Well, Mook said he didn't lose no battle. Matter of fact, he's talking about he hasn't lost a round. What you think about that? Mook said he hasn't lost a round. Yeah, I heard him say that, but I just, I, I'm saying what I think by telling you I think Party Hardy smoked him. Well... That line that Party already had in his battle when he said, when you was in diapers, I was in Rikers. Mm -hmm. Robin with life, like, that's, that's all anybody ever, it was like a knockout punch. Everybody remember that. That was, that was like a fire line. They, people still say that line today. Now, so, nigga, because now, if you really think about it, rest in peace, Party Artie, for one. Yep, R.I.P. Party Artie, yep. Really think about that line. The line ain't even that crazy, uh. but it was said with so much emphasis and so much, so much heart that you knew it just had to be real and believability. Yeah, he, you you really believe this nigga was in Rikers doing ciphers with life. Wow, Mook was in diapers. Uh. You know what I mean, like, burn. Like that. That's just it. Baby, it gave me that feel. He gave me that, Party Artie gave me that feel of that battle. Mook gave me the feel of that little Harlem nigga trying to get put on. And Party Artie gave me that feel of that nigga you might not want to fuck with in the street. Right, right. J Mills, the J Mills battle and Mook, I kind of edged that to Mook. It was, I, I thought J Mills was going to kill him. J Mills was a nigga too. But I thought right. that was dope too. That was, I thought that was a nice battle that Mook had. Honestly, the battle with him and Lux the first time, it didn't have a lot of substance to me. I could be wrong, but it, they battled for like five, six rounds, but it just was like a lot of yelling back and forth. I, it wasn't like how Lux tore up. Huh? We going to have a lot of rounds. I think it's going to debate that Lux won the first battle. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I think Lux won that first battle, man. I agree. He killed him the second one, and it wasn't... It, the second one should have been on Smack. It's like, damn, can y'all ever get this right? Get in a smack arena with the crowd and get it right. But it's like, I wish... Uh, anyway, the gray hoodie Lux is gone, so we're going to just forget that dude. That dude is gone. So, so get back to the old... Get back. Mook, right? Yeah, 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 please. He being from Harlem, I'm moving from Mook. Okay. But stupidly, I don't think nobody really deserved it. There's only two... Well, three. Three people I really think deserve this battle. 
that's hollow, that's adverb, and that's suits them. Mm. Okay. Of those three, who's the most dangerous to Mook? Hollow. You don't think DNA deserves a shot? I think I love DNA to death. Uh-huh. And I, yeah, I think I do, I do, but I think DNA is a nigga that can tip with battling wherever he can battle with who. Like DNA always gonna get a good look, but he always gonna battle a couple bumps too. He just that nigga in that role. He plays that role. You know what I mean? Right, right. He, he on all the big cards. But every now and then you're going to see him on a small car. You think that hurts his brand? Yeah, that you know hurts what I mean? Brand. So you, you, I, I feel you. Uh, but but Verb does the same thing. Verb will, Verb will take a couple bums in between. Yeah, like Verb do it too. I do it too. Like, I, you would never see Luck and Luke doing that. Right, right. Unless the bag is, is, is enormous. Right, right. You understand? That's what I meant. That's why I said it. You might not even see Surf doing that no more. Or Holland. So you... I need I need to know this before we close out. I know the finals is, is on us and we're going to have to close out soon. Why? I got to know why. Now, I know. I know Hollow. I know there's a lot of things you can say about Hollow. I, I, I know there's a lot of things you can say about Soup. There's three dudes that I feel that you named have a lot of diversity. They both... All three of them are different. Why is Hollow so dangerous to a murder move? I think Hollow is the most complete battle rapper. Wow. Fuck you, shoot me. I think Hollow. Wow. Is- Hold up, Swave. Hold up. I got to let that sink in. Hold on. Because not everybody likes Hollow. And I know what you mean. He, 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 he got a lot. Oh, Swave. What I mean by that is this. Name a battle rap superpower. You know what I mean by battle rap superpower? Yes. Yes. Everybody got a superpower. You know, Chilla Jones got the scheming thing. Yes. You know, Pitman got his remixes. Casita got to slow it down. Like, everybody, Bird got the showtime. Hollow has every skill. Hollow has multiple superpowers. He probably has the most. Hollow got every last one in battle rap. It's not a thing in battle rap that's popular that Hollow can't do. He can scheme, he can freestyle, he can rebuttal, he can, he can come up with a slogan after everybody starts saying. He, he can come up with a, you know what I mean? The nigga Hollow does everything, and he does it well. Surf try to rebuttal and fuck up his whole round, but he can't really rebuttal, he can't freestyle. Mm. You know what I mean? Okay. How many times have we seen a nigga scheme, and the scheme is trash, because you can't really scheme like that, bro. How many times we try to see a nigga do wordplay and this shit was just trash? I mean, I mean, like a lot of niggas be picking up the nigga Homie the Guard. Homie the Guard is nice, but I always fuck with him and say he trash because he broke down the word perpendicular in the bar. Like, who the fuck gives a fuck about perpendicular, my nigga? Enough for you to break down that word. Like, why that word? What the fuck perpendicular? And then you made it sound like, like, it was about a blow at that. One time you look for one perp and dick you look like, what the fuck are you talking about? Sound like a crazy pause. Yeah, Sound like a crazy pause moment. So okay, you sold me. You sold me on Hollow. Now again, I've always had Hollow in my top three. He fluctuates. Sometimes I think his voice is a little irritating, but then sometimes he changes the tone and the cadence, and then you're like, "All right, I'm back with you." You know, you got your bass back in your voice. All right, and then when he did that thing with Charlie Clips. When he broke down clip style and had the crowd following along with him, and then he say da da da, Kid Cat. Charlie, is that- Charlie Clips is another nigga. I, I need to put him on that list too. That, that but Charlie Clips play too much. Like you could take him off because he play too. Hollow don't play with that's people. That's the only fight he's not missing, but he plays too much. But he's a number of nigga that's a fully complete battle rapper. He can freestyle, he can rebuttal, he can kick some real shit, he can punch line, he can he can ski. He can do everything. All right, so last question then. You told me those three that deserve the shot at Mook. And I, I get it. Makes sense. The resume, what they've done for Battle Rap. 
you know, you could say Surf has the most classics or the most best battles, whatever you want to say. And I get it, the longevity, the 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 reverb. He's had he's had battle rap moments, and get it. Last question I ask you: Of those three, or if you know someone who's who has the potential of, and you don't have to stick with those three. You could give me a different three. Who can fuck Mook up? That's the only way I can put it. Fuck Mook up the worst. Like who could drag Mook? Up and down that stage and have like a crime scene after they leave. You don't have to name those three. Um, out of those three? You don't have to stick with those three. Those three earned a spot and I respect it. I I respect it. I know Mook don't want to go at certain dudes because he'll be vulnerable. He don't want to face... Give me three dudes. You could say them same three or you could mix it up and put one of them in there. Who would leave a crime scene after they walk off the stage battling Mook? I keep it real. Keep it real. I don't think anybody can really beat Mook like that. Oh, say, oh come on. No. Oh, you talking about a three old body Three body old body bag. bag. Like your body bag and a body bag. And pissed on it and all that. Yeah, I'm talking about I put him away. I don't think nobody will ever move to that submission to, to that point. But I do think Hollow has what it takes to beat him. Like, I think Hollow could win in a battle against Murder Moon. But I don't think he'll kill him, kill him. I respect that. You know, uh, I, I was trying to bait you into into saying something, you know. I respect that. I, 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 okay. Huh? Me, nigga. I, <laughs> I'm trying to bait you into saying, yo, yo, to be honest with you, that Swave 7, that knife come across, it's cutting anything. <laughs> oh. I would make that a leave hope in a body bag. Body bag in a body bag. Uh. But that's Harlem, so that might not happen. That, that might not happen. <laughs> <laughs> Harlem got to gotta show love for Harlem. Well, Swave... Yo, my man, I gotta, I, it's my bad. I gotta stay better in touch with you. Um, sometimes I I zone out a battle rap for some reason. You know, I want something to happen to, 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 to like, make my blood pressure go crazy. And it's like, sometimes I need that. And every time I speak to you, it's like, damn, I feel refreshed now. I, I could go another, I could do a hundred more dips. You know what I mean? I respect that. All right. Yeah, I'm about to drop some music. I, you know what I mean? I got a lot of music I've been working on lately. I've been secret about it. I'm about to start releasing shit this summer. So just be on the lookout for that. I'm going to release multiple joints. You know what I mean? Just that, I'm going to just start dropping joints, bro. So yeah, definitely look out for the music. And there's a battle I'm about to announce soon. I can't announce it because oh. I'm not that green. announced it yet. But there is a battle booked. And I, I will be seeing you soon. Uh, can, can you at least say the league? or any? Can you say anything about it? Can I say the league? Alright, how, how soon? How soon? Maybe not the league. How soon? Three months? This, this summer. Right. Rip that. You know. R.I.P. Your soul just lift up and. You out of here. I see you on that other side. Bye. On the side. See you in the cry rivers. Courtesy of mine. We terrorize rappers better.